I can multiply two two-digit numbers together with regrouping. First, let's review multiplying a two-digit by a one-digit number with regrouping. Let's multiply 74 times 3. We'll start by multiplying the 1s together. 3 times 4 is 12. But I can't put a 12 in the 1s place of my answer. I'll have to regroup, just like when I add or subtract. 3 times 4 is 12, so the 2 goes here. And I'll carry that group of 10 up above the 10s place. Now, multiply the 3 by the tens place. 3 times 7 is 21. But before you write that down, remember to add the number that you carried to it. 21 plus the one that we carried is 22. We have our answer. 74 times 3 is 222. Let's review a two-digit times two-digit without regrouping. We'll solve 53 times 23. Remember, we're going to be multiplying 53 times 3 and putting our answer here, and then we'll be multiplying 53 times 2 and putting it underneath. Also remember, there's going to be a zero here. So let's start with 53 times 3. You can kind of just ignore the 2 in the number 23 and focus on 53 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, that's 53 times 3. Now we add a 0 in the 1's place of our second number, like this. Now let's just focus on multiplying 53 times 2. We'll put the answer to that right next to the zero. So first, we'll multiply the two times the three. That's six. And then we'll multiply it times the five. That's 10. Notice how we always multiply by the ones place first and then the tens place. The last step is to add these two numbers together. Fifty-three times twenty-three is one thousand two hundred nineteen. Let's look at one with regrouping. We'll start the same way as we did before by multiplying forty-two times eight. So eight times two is sixteen. I know I can't put the whole sixteen down, so I have to carry the one. And then I do eight times four. That's 32, but don't forget to add one more to it, making 33. We're done with this one that we carried, so let's go ahead and cross it off so we don't get confused and try to add it again when we multiply our second digit. Now we need to put a zero in the ones place of our second number before we start multiplying 42 times 3. So to multiply 42 times 3, I know I would multiply the 3 times the 1's place. 3 times 2 is 6. And then the 3 times the 10's place. 3 times 4 is 12. And do you remember the final step? Just add the two numbers together. 6 plus 0 is 6. 3 plus 6 is 9. 3 plus 2 is 5. And 0 plus 1 is 1. So 42 times 38 is 1,596. One more example, but this time we'll have to regroup twice. So let's start by multiplying 85 times 6. Just ignore the 2. 85 times 6 is going to make my first number. All right, 6 times 5 is 30. I put down the 0, and I carry the 3. 6 times 8, that's 48. But don't forget to add 3 more to it. That's 51. Now, let's cross off the 3. We've already added it. We're done with that. We don't want to get confused. Let's move on to multiplying 85 times 2. But remember, before we do that, we need to add that 0 
to the ones place of our second number. And that's because the two is not actually a two, it's a 20. Now, because we have the zero, we can treat it like a two and just multiply 85 times two. So first, I would multiply two times five. That's 10. I know I can't put a 10 in one place, so I'll put down the zero and carry the one to the same place I used earlier when I had to carry a three. All right, I've multiplied two times five, so now I need to multiply two times eight. That's 16, but don't forget to add the one more to it. That's 17. And finally, I just add the two numbers together. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one. Five plus seven is 12. And one plus one is two. So 85 times 26 is 2,210. Here are some reminders. Multiply the top number by the ones place of the bottom number. Then add a zero beneath the ones place of your answer to begin a second number. Multiply the top number by the tens place of the bottom number and put that answer beside the zero. Finally, add the two numbers together. Remember, anytime you get a two digit number when you multiply, you'll have to carry the tens. And then just don't forget to add them in later.